Hi everyone, my name is Dia and I'm the culinary expert here at Tupperware US in Canada. And today I'm going to be showing you how to make a Swiss roll recipe. Let's get started. The first thing you're going to need are five large eggs and I have separated the yolks from the whites. The whites will be used in the next step. So here I have my five large egg yolks and I'm going to add some granulated sugar, some vanilla extract, and a little bit of vegetable oil straight into the bowl. And you want to mix it until it is light pale in color and smooth. Next step, we're going to add some all-purpose flour and you're going to continue mixing until it is well combined. I've set my batter aside and now I'm going to go ahead and whip my egg whites to stiff peaks. And you know they're ready when you can do this. Now that our batter is done and our egg whites have been whipped, I'm going to go ahead and fold the whipped egg whites into the batter. And you want to do this in three increments. want to make sure that when you fold your egg whites into your batter, you do it carefully so they don't deflate and lose their air. That's what's going to make this cake really flexible so you can roll it later on. Now we're going to go ahead and bake our cake. Place your silicone baking sheet with rim on top of a metal baking sheet. And let's pour the batter right on top. Making sure you grab every last drop of batter from the bowl. And now let's smooth the top, making sure you fill every corner of the silicone baking sheet. Perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and place it in the oven and bake it for 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Now we're going to go ahead and make the filling. And you can fill it with any kind of jams or jellies or even whipped cream, but I'm gonna go ahead and make a quick chocolate mousse. In the base of my Power Chef, I have one cup of heavy cream, and I'm gonna go ahead and whip this to stiff peaks. And you're gonna know it's done because you feel a little bit of resistance on that handle. And I have melted some chocolate, so I have some semi-sweet chocolate in here and I'm just gonna pour it straight into my whipped cream and mix it until it's well combined. All right, this looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and place it in the fridge until I am ready to fill it. All right, now that the cake has come out of the oven, this part goes by really quick, so pay close attention. I have let it cool for like one or two minutes. Now I'm going to put a lot of powdered sugar over the surface of the cake, place a microfiber towel on top, and then roll it so it cools in the rolled position. And you want to place a lot of powdered sugar so the cake stays really moist and it doesn't break on you. And the coolest part is that you're actually going to roll it using the silicone baking sheet inside as well. So just roll it as tightly as you can, pushing that excess towel around. Dust off the excess. And now we're gonna go ahead and place it in the fridge and let it cool for 20 to 30 minutes. Now that our cake is cool, we're gonna go ahead and unroll it and fill it. And it's okay if you have excess powdered sugar, that will just combine with your filling. We're just gonna spread this all over the top of the cake. You wanna make sure that you spread it in an even layer. And 
And that's it guys, it's all ready to go. You can go ahead and put any kind of garnish you'd like. I'm gonna place some powdered sugar on top and some fresh berries and I'm gonna have a bite. Ta-da! And that's how you make a Swiss roll. Now the most important part, the taste test. Not gonna lie, this is my favorite part of, you know, cooking in general. Mm, it's so good. There's a perfect amount of filling. It's moist and I could eat this whole thing, but I won't. Thank you so much for watching me today. I hope you guys make it at home as well. Until next time.